Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm gonna show you why you need a tennis ball in a broom. I'm gonna save you so much time. I'm gonna save your back. I'm gonna save your knees. I'm gonna spark your mind and curiosity and all that good stuff. By the way, my neighbor is mowing his lawn again, so if you hear that in the background, yes, it's almost like the middle of winter here in Wisconsin. Have no fear, but get yourself tennis ball. All right, first thing they need to do, get a broom. Second thing, get your tennis ball. Now look at right here, you see? There's a little cut right here. Get the camera to focus right in here. Like I could get my finger in there. Yeah, can you guess where we're gonna put this? Let's just take a little walk over here. When you're sweeping or cleaning your floors, my guess is you're gonna find some scuff marks on your floor. And rather than getting down, crouching down, trying to find something, the tennis ball is absolutely perfect for getting out any kind of scuff marks. And then as a bonus, what you could do is just get it a little bit wet, spray something on there. There, I needed two hands to hold the broom, but look at that. We just got a little bit more down here. That was a tough one from my son's shoe. Let me know if you have tried this before when it comes to your tennis ball. Rather than a broom, I suppose you could take your grandma's walker and use that as well to clean up those scuff marks. Look at that right there. If you're looking for a good broom hack challenge, click the video on screen now. Give this video a thumbs up, sign up for the weekly newsletter, and I will see you, my friend, thumbs up in the next one.